So we finished soldering up some of the switches and LEDs. We just want to give you a quick demo of uh, them in operation. If you switch down, it's going to turn the LED blue and put it into automatic mode, which is going to let the microcontroller take control of valve 11 in this case. Uh, if you switch up, that's going to turn on the valve immediately and let you know by turning green. And uh, they're off when uh, there is no LED on. So for instance we could turn on a burner or set this one to be auto and uh, pretty fun. Over here you can see some of the ports. Uh, we still have a few more to put in but this bottom row of two here is going to be the 12 valves and above that is going to be the sensors and a USB and network port and then we have the three burners and the AC outlets for pumps and other stirs and stuff. Give you guys a quick look inside. So this is the mess of wires that we're currently trying to manage. And this is all the LED connections that will be the status indicators. Those are going to get wired up shortly. And you can see everything's going to this relay here. You can see the, the relays that are activated by the LEDs some of the wiring. So we're just about done wiring everything up, just have to wire the LEDs and a couple more of those valve connections. This is the uh, on and stop button over here. So we plugged in one of the valves and I'll just give you a demo of that. You can see the cable here, the mic connectors, the valve two, and it's closed. So we'll switch it on. And now it's open. Back closed. This is a little sub control box uh, off of the main control. And this controls the burners. So these are little microcontrollers uh, made by Honeywell that actually control um, lighting the pilot lights, making sure they're lit, and uh, control the burner valves. You can see the spark plug wires because uh, that's what they use to spark the pilot light. And these are all connected in here to the same type of connectors. So the center two will connect to two of the burner connectors on the main controller and these two spark cables and uh, valve connectors will connect to the valves themselves on the back of the brew system.